Government ministers say they're discussing a range of ways they can help small business owners at risk of closing down due to coronavirus, as some ethnic restaurants face a drop in sales of up to 60%. The Minister of Ethnic Communities says New Zealanders need to eat out and stop being afraid of Asian food. Jenny Salisa walked down Dominion Road today in a bid to drum up a bit of lunchtime traffic. Alex Perite and cameraman Nick Munro went along for a bite to eat. It's lunchtime again on Dominion Road, which means an anxious wait for business owners doing it tough. Here at Shanghai Restaurant, Eddie Lu has taken the day off to help his uncle and auntie. They've had to lay off all their staff, except for family members, because half their customers seem to have lost their appetite. His uncle, Zai Kai Young, has been in the kitchen, but would like to be cooking a whole lot more. There is a huge negative impact on our business. Uh, roughly there will be a 50% uh, reduction of our business and profits. You know, in China, people, in order to prevent from the outbreak of the disease, people, uh, the government encouraged people to stay at home and not go to the restaurant or any other places where people uh, come together. So in New Zealand, um, uh, Chinese are also doing the same thing. Young says it was hard to lay off staff. It's actually a very tough thing to tell the employee that we are no longer have to uh, have you working here that long. Uh, we have to tell them that uh, we cannot sustain the business if we still employ that many of people. Uh, we're going to shut down because we cannot afford that much of salary. Young says unless he gets some financial relief, he may have to close for good. For small and medium businesses, like the rent is actually quite an issue because in Dominion Road, the rent is pretty high. So maybe there may be, uh, are there any allowance for the rent? It may be uh, one of our, uh, our suggestions. Another one is maybe the tax because, you know, we have to pay uh, 30, 33 percent of taxes and we have very uh, downturn business. So maybe there may be any benefits from the tax. Hi, how are you guys? Good, thank you. Uh, how many of you? Three, please. Okay, please have a seat right here, please. Thank you very much. The Minister for Ethnic Communities, Jenny Salesa, has dropped by, along with Gary Holmes. He's the manager of the Dominion Road Business Association. Can I have your stir-fried lamb, please, stir with, uh, lamb. with cumin? Okay. They're both here in a bid to drum up some trade and tell us just how much so many others are hurting around the country. How, how tough are they doing it? Oh, look, some of them have had to close. There's a restaurant across the road that opens just before Christmas that's actually just closed up shop. And there's a number of, number of other restaurants also that have just closed down for weeks at a time just because they haven't got the numbers to sustain staying open. That's a problem, though, because you're still paying rent, right? Oh, exactly, and it is tough. And, I mean, the margins for a lot of these sort of eateries and restaurants are quite small anyway. As an association, we're actually going to do a bit of a promotional push to try and encourage people to come and support their local restaurants at this time. It tastes really good. Mm. Jenny Salesa says people are turning away from the takeaways she usually goes to. And, you know, I'm one of those people that do go out and order Chinese or Thai um, and actually take it home to share with my family, is the queues at those places that I usually go to, um, Great Tong and Gleaninus and, um, and Target Thai and Mount Wellington, the queues are not as long as they used to be, um, say, last December or even uh, early January. My message to New Zealanders is to go about your business as you would normally. It's a Friday, um, you know, a lot of us usually go and, and get takeaways or go and visit one of your Asian uh, local uh, Chinese or Asian restaurants. You know, it, it is actually uh, pretty safe to go out and order food, you know, because especially the coronavirus, the COVID-19 is not here yet. Jenny Salesa says it's not a time to panic and people need to overcome irrational fears. The virus, whether it's COVID-19 or other viruses, it actually doesn't care about your race, your culture, the religion you have, or even how much money you have. We are all human beings, and, you know, uh, at this time, it's a challenging time. It is the time that we should actually stand up for our values. This is not the time to actually use a virus to say that it is OK to be xenophobic or to be racist. Uh, you know, COVID-19, coronavirus, uh, is no excuse uh, for uh, racism, you know, we should continue as a society to give nothing to racism. 
Gary Holmes says it's not only restaurants hurting, with a drop in flights pushing up costs for those bringing in goods from China and sending them back home. And for a lot of them, that is their livelihood. A lot of the um, goods that they sell to the consumers comes from China. They are struggling to actually get the goods in, in the store which is meaning, of course, that not, they haven't got the products to sell and that's having an effect on their turnover as well. What, what else can the business community do to band around them and, and, and help them even in small ways? Look, again, it's a really about promoting our area and just encouraging people to, to shop local, to support both their local restaurants but also their local shops. I mean, very often you you'll might go the other side of town to buy something, but we want to really encourage them in terms of Dominion Road to support local business. You've got a feel for these people too because $11 million has been announced for tourism. There's all sorts of operators out there. How much of that are we going to see trickle down to a, a small business restaurant operator on Dominion Road? So, you know, this is actually where I would uh, encourage business owners to go to www.business.govt.nz. Um, we don't have the full package of assistance for everybody yet, but we are monitoring the situation. Our um, focus at the moment is making sure that COVID-19 is kept out of New Zealand. More monitoring and conversations, but in the meantime, these businesses and communities need to support each other. And as we prepare to leave, there's a momentary bright spot. Young tells us, through Eddie, that we've been a lucky charm, with far more people than usual coming through the doors today as we were eating. But those hungry customers need to keep on coming. And that's the resounding message all the way from the tables here on Dominion Road to the Cabinet table in Wellington. For Checkpoint, Alex Perrottet.